But, I mean, are you not also, if they make these allegations, yeah. perhaps, uh, yeah. I mean, because on the case of Justice Nguta, what we have heard yeah. was that the allegation was that some people came to his home to, to offer him bribe and to speak with, them, with him about the cases he was handling uh, regarding some elections. But again, uh, shouldn't we also be looking at some of these people also and finding them out, investigating them on this matter? And he said that he has also reported to the CGN at that time. Thank you. Let me say first of all that he should not have allowed anybody to see him in the first place. Second, let's assume he reported to the CJ at that time. What did the CJ say or did after the report? That's to tell you that a lot of rubbish, garbage had been, uh, these, these people can do um, immerse themselves in this rubbish and garbage. And it is so it's, it's, so it's, it's also an indictment on, on, him, on him and the NJC. Yes, no, no, that is if he had reported and the NJC didn't, didn't do anything all this while. Or the CJN. Or the CJN did well, that would be an indictment of the CJ and the NJC as a body and himself as a judge. You see, judges are meant to be heard in open court, judges are meant to be seen in the open court, not in chambers. A judge's chambers is for him himself alone to read and do research in respect of any case, any case that he has, so that he will come to sound reasoning in making a pronouncement. So when you know that these people are coming to, de to discuss with you a matter in which they are involved in, you, in, in your court, that is to tell you that you should keep away from them. That is the, that is because the, if that someone is the comes forward and says, I'm being vilified because of the cases I'm handling, for example, yeah. another judge say, I'm handling the case of Dasuki, yeah. I've handled the case of DSS, yeah. that's why they are coming after me. Yeah. And Mr. Abadek Guru has said, look, there is a tilt in this corruption war against the judges, which looks so much that PDP judge, I mean, the judges who have pronounced judgment on cases that are in favor of the PDP are the ones that are being attacked right now. If there are evidences, against judges who have de them delivered judgment in favor of APC, let them bring it out. It will be good for the system. Not, I'm not, you see, my position is not to say it is not a possibility. What I'm saying, what judge will be visited with a bribe for more than two years ago, will now be saying I was offered bribe today. After there's an allegation against it, that is all. It, it, so his allegations does not hold water. No, I'm saying it is too late in the day. I called it an afterthought. That's my position. Okay, let's quickly look at some of the issues you raised. Uh, you're asking the CGN to use his leadership position uh, in this matter. You've raised some issues yes. as regarding how you think they should uh, uh, handle this matter. Yes, yes. What are those? Sim you see, now... It, it, let me tell you this. The former CJN, Aluma Mukta, said it openly and publicly that we have a problem with judiciary, problem of corruption. Now, let the NJC led by the CJ be more frontal and more proactive in investigating this matter, getting bad eggs out of the bench, and referring those bad eggs to the prosecuting agencies. Let them have their days in court. That is the way I think we should go. All right. Let's take a moment. And when we return, I'll be asking Mr. Mumini here if he thinks that in the cabinet of President Muhammad Buhari, he should be looking inwards in investigating some of his own men. Join us. Thank you so much for staying with us. Some of your thoughts uh, are <laughs> coming in and uh, flowing in as... Um, so much. Uh, let me just take one or two here on Twitter. Uh, Tochukweze says, uh, what is PMB waiting for to investigate allegations leveled against the major and tell him to resign? Um, B's uh, lifeline says, the law setting up NJC should be reviewed. Membership should extend to members of public with proven integrity and non-lawyers. Kashim Issa said, Buari is absolutely fair in his style of leadership. Those indicted neither night denied of the allegations. Well, first of all, Akimboye was uh, the counter allegations uh, by arrested judges only show the rot and low moral standard in our judiciary period. And um, Sami Etuk says an allegation does not isn't it is not a uh, conviction. Calling the judges to resign or go on suspension amounts to conviction 
it legally wrong? Well, keep the comments coming. Uh, I will may just have uh, some of those uh, right there on the screen uh, before the end of the show. Now, uh, let's continue with the conversation, Mr. Mumini. With what we have on the ground now, a lot of people are said, the end agency has said, look, we will not ask them to step aside until the old exercise of this process have been seen to the end. But you're saying they should, uh, or the therapy is saying they should step aside. But one is wondering again, with all of these that we have on the ground in the cabinet of, uh, of uh, the president, there are a lot of people who have been thinking that people are saying, look, if you're fighting corruption, start from within, start from your home. Do you think so? Because that is the only way you can convince people outside to really believe you. You see, it's like the Yoruba saying that if you want to offer a cloth to some or cloth to other people, who will look at how you are dressed or what garb you are putting on. It's as simple as that, really, yes. So you think, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the, the president has really not done enough in showing fairness in how he handled because he has said that he will not spare even people from his own party. Yes. Does it look like the fight has speared people from his party? No, no, what, 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 I, have, I don't think so. I, really, I don't think so. What I want us to be doing is, when we have evidence, you understand, let's put it in the public domain. We now test the sincerity of the president. That's where I say it. Uh, but, but look at the, what has hap happened to the NJC now and the NBA. What do you, why do you think the NBA uh, withdrew or uh, the left off their initial position to take a new position in this matter and say, look, NJC, you need to suspend these people. And the NJC said, look, that position, we will, will not be going with it. Why do you think the NBA <laughs> went back on this decision? Let me tell you straight away that um, the bar is different from the bench. Who are we accusing? Members of the bench. You would definitely expect the NJC to protect the school. Because let me tell you, the problem that we are having now will make nonsense of the legal profession if indeed the judiciary is not fully sanitized. That is the problem. You see, when the NJC took and the, um, the NBA took the initial step, I can tell you that um, it was a rushed decision. And like I said, the, the, the position which the NBA has now taken that these judges will resign or step aside, it's not too different from this ethical confidence question, trust question of the other Nigeria. Should we be afraid or be scared of the NGC as uh, presently constituted based on their decision in this matter? That is, that, is, that is like what we should be doing because the way the NGC is constituted does not inspire confidence. Mm. Imagine a judge saying when they met me, to offer me a bribe, I told the CJ, I told the NJC, and nobody had it. <laughs> what the judge was talking about must have happened about one and a half years ago. As we, as we close now, yeah. on a final thought, I mean, tell us, uh, as we go forward, a lot of people will be asking, how do we go about this war in the end to make sure that, look, the war does not see us as on a serious people? Yes. And the, Professor Sesagi said, it is the lawyer, the senior ones that have corrupted these judges. I agree, absolutely. And that is, you see, the initial response of the MBA. If they are taking the opinion poll of junior lawyers, they will know that that initial response was wrong. Maybe they think the junior lawyers are not as experienced to know. No, no, it, it is not a question. Every, so every, it's, 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 a, it's a mere fact that the, the senior lawyers are the ones who have... I agree, I agree. Some of them. Some of them. Many thanks so much, uh, Mr. Adetokumba Mumini, for talking to us, Executive Director of Serap. Thank you for having me. Well, that's our show for today. Many thanks for being part of it. Forever you are watching us, well, this is Sunday Politics, and this is where we anchor. I'm Shion Akimbale. On behalf of the team, bye for now.